Hey y'all, it's Tirza. The first thing I said when I saw myself was mercy. Whew. And I know it's not nice to talk down to yourself, but some bad habits are really hard to break. This is the first opportunity I got to make the video. I didn't want you guys to think I forgot that it's Tuesday. For all my two people watching, thank you so much. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see, it's dark out. I, I'm sitting under a street light so that I could get as much light as possible and I turned on my light in my car. Um, so anyway, let's get started. My name is Tears. I'm from Philadelphia. I am 38 and a half years old. I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, January 2012. Um, and I weighed 294 pounds on that date. Five weeks prior, I weighed my highest weight, which was 330 pounds. Um, and here we go again with my brain just, um, sorry. In November, 2012, I made it down to my lowest weight post-op of 165 pounds. And I have been bouncing around crazy numbers all over the place ever since in the last so many years. Uh, I think the lowest I ever got back down to was 170. The highest I ever got back to was 306.8. Um, last week, I weighed 305 pounds. No, no, no. No threes anymore. Mm -mm. 235 pounds even. And this week, I weighed 231.6, which I believe is a 3.4 pound loss for the week, which is not bad, and I will take that. So, that leaves me 1.6 pounds away from my Halloween goal. Now, we still have two full weeks for that, and a day. But I still don't want to claim that, because you just don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. I, I don't want to say that I'm going to gain because I refuse to mess up right now. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but right now I feel like my mind is in the right place at, the, at this point in time. I, I can't guarantee later, but um, I'm sorry. I have a brand new phone and it's been a B-I-T-C-H all day and I couldn't figure out how to use it, how to update it. It's not that hard. I just, it's me. I'm not tech savvy. So I was already bad enough making videos, um, but this isn't helping. What can I do? Oh, do you see that? I think this is age. I do not have dimples. <laughs> and I think as I'm pushing 40, my skin is like losing elasticity. And I'm starting to get like all these kind of lines that look like I had dimples or something. That I never had before. Age. But rather get old and get dead, right? Anyway, I'm going on into a really weird place here. Um, so, let me go back to where I was because I'm getting a little goofy. Um, 1.6 pounds away from hitting that goal for Halloween. I would really love to surpass that goal at this point. Like, the most weight I can get off as quickly as possible for me is like is good like that's what I would love to do especially because I know I can't get to go by my birthday I mean a little over 65 pounds is kind of asking for a little too much by April 7th but I want one year I've got one year that I'll have left in my 30s can I have one year where I'm healthy and in a good place and at a decent weight that's what I want one whole year and then 40 I think I don't know I think I need to celebrate because it's either that or cry <laughs> I am like really hung up on age and it's a really stupid thing but I'll explain why in a minute the other thing I wanted to say is that I hadn't thought about was that 230 is not only my Halloween goal but 230 will actually put me back to 100 pounds lost since my highest weight. So that is kind of exciting too. And then once I hit that point, I will need to lose exactly 65 pounds to get back to 165 for my goal. 
If I can get lower than that, I think I'm okay with that too. The problem I tend to have is that my face starts to look really... I'm trying to not be like... I'm trying to be politically correct here. But my face starts to look like I'm a crackhead. I got a big old head. And it starts to get... But my body still has weight that it needs to lose. So it's like a struggle. At 165, my face, may, I look good. Body, mm, not too much. It looks like I still would have like 15 to 20 pounds to lose, I feel like. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. And I, and I got a lot of time. So I guess I'll figure out what I'm going to do when I get there. So back to my hung up on my age thing. I think I'm super hung up on age and feeling old because I feel like for me, 30 is midlife. Um, my grandfather died at 58 years old. My father died at 59. Um, no one lives very long on the paternal side. Well, the paternal paternal side, <laughs> my father's dad's side. Jeans, no bueno, they're not good. My mother's side, neither side has very good genes. I think the oldest person to live in her whole family was 83. Um, I think her mom passed away at 70, had strokes and everything else in 50s and 60s. Um, my grandfather on her side died a year after my grandmother. Um, I, so I don't know how much of that is genetics and how much of that was heartbreak. He also had pancreatic cancer. But from what we know on his side of the family, no one makes it out really past the 70s either. Like I said, one relative, 83. That's it. My mom is going to be 74. She's now older than both of her parents were when they passed away. I think I pray every single day because I'm petrified. But her genes are at least still slightly better than my dad's side. Now my grandmother, on my dad's side, she lived to be 96. And her family has pretty decent genetics, late 80s to even a relative that lived to be 103. That was still in Italy though, on the nice clean mountain air. So. I don't know how much that plays into that role. But um, I don't even know if what I just said made sense. So I think that's why I like really freak out about age. Some of it is it like vanity. I mean, not that I think I'm hot, but you know, I think everybody picks on themselves a little bit, which is not nice. But I think that's why I um, get bent out of shape about age because I feel like I don't have much time left, which is like, don't mind me. Anyway, I think I've rambled on way too much and sound way too wacky today. So I apologize to my two viewers, but I love you guys. See you next week.